the truth allows you to turn the page to that next chapter, maybe getting justice in this case. Justice that's been in the works for decades. Five-year-old Logan Bowman went missing in January of 2003 from Grayson County. I was still hanging with the academy. I was going to start the academy like the next week. His remains turned up last year in Galax in the woods off Iron Ridge Road. Something Carroll County Sheriff Kevin Kemp says he's never seen before. To say that I'm not in shock a little bit by the outcome, I think would be maybe understating it a little bit. A man from out of town bought the property and noticed the remains in a trash bag. It was very much a day that I first thought, what if this could be the remains of Logan Bowman. Several months later, the company Othram got involved, a forensic genealogy company based in Texas. That's where Chief Development Officer Dr. Krista Middleman and her team took over. We used forensic grade genome sequencing on the boy's remains that were found and they were found decades later. So you can imagine how much degradation was there. She says the process takes longer the older the DNA, but they were still able to trace it back to Logan in hopes it leads to further prosecution. It's very hard to prosecute a murder if you don't have a, a body. Kemp tells me it's still too early to decide on charges, but the progress is incredible. I want people to know that we don't give up and you may not know every little thing going on. It may be quiet for a certain period of time. But this is proof that just because you're not hearing something every week doesn't mean there's not work being done. This means it's not the end of Logan's case. His mother, Cynthia Davis, and her then boyfriend, Dennis Skimmerhorn, were charged in 2003 by Grayson County in connection with Logan's disappearance. Skimmerhorn's charge of felony murder was dismissed in 2004 due to lack of evidence, while Davis was sentenced to 15 years for second degree murder. We will do everything we can to make sure that we will press whatever charges that needs to be done. In Galax, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.